If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. Sofia Miliani Cicoloni, known as Sofia Loren, is an Italian film actress and is one of the last surviving stars from the golden age of Hollywood. Born September 20, 1934, she was married to Carlo Ponti, who was much older than her. Carlo Ponti played an important role in her film success by changing the trajectory of her career. They met out of happenstance in a nightclub when Ponti asked her to enter in a Miss Rome contest. She took second prize in the contest, but, but more importantly, won the heart of Ponti, one of Italy's leading film directors. Ponti encouraged her to enroll in acting lessons following this beauty pageant, and Sofia began her film career in 1950. She changed her last name to Lorraine in the early 1952, following the advice of Carlo Ponti in order to appeal to a large audience. The name Lorraine was close to the name of Marta Torrain, who was a popular Swedish actress at that time. Top 10 Sofia Loren films. Number one, Arabesque. Number two, El Cid. Number three, The Fall of the Roman Empire. Number four, Houseboat. Number five, Man of La Mancha. Number six, Five Miles to Midnight. Number seven, Desire Under the Elms. Number eight, It Started in Naples. Number nine, Operation Crossbow. Number ten, Between Strangers. She appeared sporadically in the films starting in 1950 until she signed with Paramount in 1956. Her five film contract with Paramount launched her international career with reputable films like The Pride and Passion, Houseboat, and it started in Naples. In 1957, after starring in Pride and Passion, Sophia returned to school to study English. She became enthralled with T.S. Eliot's work, often shouting poems on set in between suits. Lorraine's talents were finally recognized when in 1961, for her role in Two Women, she was awarded Academy Award for Best Actress. This was the first actor or actress to receive an Oscar for a performance in a foreign language. Following her first-born child in 1968, Lauren chose to make only occasional film appearances. She has two children who are also in the entertainment industry, conductor Carlo Ponti Jr. and director Eduardo Ponti. About her affairs and marriage, Lauren and Cary Grant co-starred in Houseboat. Grant's wife, Betsy Drake, wrote the original script. After he began an affair with Lauren while filming The Pride and Passion, Grant arranged for Lauren to take Drake's place with a rewritten script for which Drake did not receive credit. The affair ended in bitterness before the Pride and the Past Passions filming ended, causing problems on the houseboat set. Grant hoped to resume the relationship, but Lauren agreed to marry Carlo Ponti instead. They had two children, Carlo Ponti Jr. and Eduardo Ponti, Lauren's daughter-in-law or 
Sasa Alexander and Andrea Mesjaros. Lorian has four grandchildren. Lorian remained married to Carlo Ponti until his death in 2007 of pulmonary complications. In 1962, Lorian's sister Maria married the youngest son of Benito Mussolini, Romano, with whom she had two daughters, Alessandra, a national conservative Italian politician, and Elisabetta. In 1951, following her first role in film as an extra, Sofia remained in Rome and secured modeling jobs for Fumetti magazines. The popular Italian comics gained notoriety for their use of real pictures in storytelling. During the 1960s, Loden was one of the most popular actresses in the world. Her work reached countless people internationally. In 1964, she received $1 million to appear in, quote, the fall of the Roman Empire, unquote. In 1965, she received her second Academy Award nominations for her role in quote, marriage, Italian style. Her international fame roared between 1964 and 1977, winning four Golden Globes as, quote, world film favorite female. The next decade following the birth of her first son in 1968, Lauren appeared primarily in Italian productions she appeared in two notable films, The Voyage of 1974 and a remake of hit classic, Brief Encounter of 1974. Deviating from film, during the 70s, Lorraine wrote a cookbook, quote, In the Kitchen with Love, unquote, which was published in 1972, comprised of southern Italian dishes with a handful of sporadi sporadic plates. This book is brimming with recipes and memories, perfect for any Sofia fan. Other Sofia publications include her biography, quote, Sofia, Living and Loving, Her Own Story, unquote, 1979. This fascinating book tells her story from her childhood to becoming the reigning queen of the cinema world. In 1977, Sofia co-starred with Marcello Mastroianni in the esteemed film A Special Day, 1977. The film went on to be nominated for 11 international awards, including two Oscars, and was given a Golden Globe and Caesar Award for Foreign Movie. During 1958, Lorraine worked with Peter Sellers, recording an album for their film and debutting in the music industry. On the album was the single, Good Gracious Me, which topped the charts in England. Proving to be a multifaceted businesswoman, Lorraine teamed up with manufacturer Coty to bring to market her personal perfume line, Sophia. And in 1981, she partnered with Xyloware, releasing the Sophia Lorraine eyewear collection. In 1967, on the set of Once Upon a Time, Sophia and her co-star Omar Sharif got into a dispute regarding whose mother had the best eggplant recipe. Lorraine and Sharif flew their mother to Rome for a legendary eggplant cook-off. Sophia Lorraine and Gregory Peck share a special Academy Award connection. 
embodying the phrase, quote, what comes around goes around, unquote. In 1963, Lorraine presented Peck with a Best Actor Oscar for his work in To Kill a Mockingbird. Fast forward 28 years, Peck gives her the Cecil B. DeMille Award for Lifetime Achievement. The Columbus Day Parade, hosted annually in New York City, celebrates Italian-American history and heritage. In 1984, Lorraine was asked to be the Paris illustrious Grand Marshal, making her the first female to ever be honored with the position. In 1991, Lorraine received an Oscar, the Academy Honoring Award, which was particularly special. The Academy's official statement, quote, one of the genuine treasures of world cinema who in a career of rich, memorable performances, has added permanent luster to our art form. For Sophia's 60th birthday in 1994, she was given a Hollywood Walk of Fame star for an innumerable amount of lifetime achievements. Two years later, in 1996, she was selected by Entertainment Weekly as one of the 100 greatest movie stars of all time. Adding to Lawrence's repertoire of international recognition in 1998, she received a career Golden Lion from the Venice Film Festival. The Japan Art Association awarded her the Premium Imperial for a lifetime's work of exceptional filmography. After five decades in the spotlight and hundreds of films, Sofia still carries herself with humble Italian poise. This perhaps is best exemplified by her most acclaimed roles portraying wholesome salt-of-the-earth women. Sophia was nothing short of a jewelry aficionado, assimilating an extensive collection throughout her life. One of her favorite pieces was a beautiful brooch gifted to her by Peter Sellers and the cast of The Millionaires of 1960. Since 2006, she resides in Geneva, Switzerland but she owns homes in Naples and Rome. She states, quote, as I walk around the park, I think maybe I will find something beautiful right around the corner. It is rare to find me in a melancholic mood. In 2010, Lauren starred in a TV movie, La Mia Casa e Piena di Specie. 2010. Translated, quote, My house is full of mirrors, unquote. This movie was based off of the autobiography of Maria Sequayon, Sophia's sister, whom Sophie portrayed. Lauren co-starred in an astounding 12 films with Marcello Mastroani many of which were nominated for awards. The two peas in a pod love to work with Lorraine's favorite director, Vittorio Da Sica, who directed three of them. Adding to her array of awards in 1995, Sophia received the Golden Globe Cecil B. The Mill Award for Lifetime Achievements. In 1999, she was added to the list of greatest female stars of Golden Age Hollywood and is the last living member of the list. An Oscar and 100 film titles later, people are astounded to learn that Sophia Loren had no formal acting training. Her natural inclination for the business from an early age 
made her undoubtedly one of the best amateurs. Lorraine's grit and work ethic stemmed from her upbringing working in bars and restaurants as a waitress. Years later, in Italian film, La Oro di Napoli of 1954, Lauren played the role of a waitress in a restaurant. How ironic. Lauren's admiration for the finer things in life didn't stop at jewelry. She boasts an expansive residence in the Manhattan Trump Tower, neighboring big names such as Derek Jeter and Harrison Ford. Sophia is a role model for many young actresses but has a relationship with Drew Barrymore that reaches beyond reference. A close friend of Barrymore's godmother, Anna Strasberg, Sophia frequently looked after Drew throughout her adolescent years. Despite being in the spotlight for a number of decades, Sophia likes to maintain a certain level of privacy. During an inter interview with ABC News, she stated, every year she burns her personal diary. Though not an athlete, Lauren's iconic stature proves to span multiple industries alongside Susan Sarandon and Isabel Allende. Lauren flew the Olympic flag during the opening ceremonies of the Winter Olympics in 2006. Thank you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. You can also click on the share button and share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter or via email.